I've had just a little bit of time at home, got a little bit done. Uh, still a long ways to go, but uh, making progress. Uh, of course, I'm about to leave town. The uh, taxi will be here. Uh, well, I've still got maybe an hour or so. But anyway, so uh, turn the camera around. Okay, I've got the AV10 and an actual equipment rack here. And this, I had a place called Front Panel Express custom make this panel. Still got some spare places you can see down there. I did all D style connectors because you can get almost anything in a D. Yeah, it used to look like that, and now it looks like that. So that's an improvement, I think. So, uh, and then uh, the network stuff is going to be on this wall mounted rack out here and it's going to be mounted uh, right about just above where the hole is they're actually probably going to make it so that the hole of course I'm going to dress that up like I did this and have all the uh, the network stuff there I'm going to get rid of uh, this thing where all the network cables are tied into this 19 inch thing that's not going to work because it's going to make more sense to have another panel made from Front Panel Express that I can mount in here, have all the network stuff there. And then uh, this uh, EPS power supply here this is going to be on a little shelf that will be above, in this opening above where those electrical wires are running. So I'll have that where it can slide out and uh, have the uh, probably just one power wire coming off of it up into this area to supply uh, you know, distribute power to like the uh, the router and the modem and the, all that stuff so so anyway so that rack again will be mounted on the wall there to do all the network stuff and then you can see all the uh, cable stuff or g6 stuff I'm thinking for that <clears throat> gonna do some kind of a thing in that existing opening above again above those electrical wires there and uh, probably you won't really need very many of those. I mean, I don't even have cable or satellite either one right now anyway, but I have it there in some kind of a distribution amplifier or something so that you can run as many as you want and then go to the individual rooms and put, uh, you know, terminators on them so they're not, you know, causing problems for broadcasting signal if, if I did have cable on it. And then, of course, the whole house audio. Going to do a similar, got basically the same rack as the one that I was going to use for the network except that it's deeper and it's going to hold all the uh, amplifiers and the controller for the uh, home theater direct whole house audio so that's going to be mounted on the wall over there and I'll do also from front panel express make a custom panel for all the speaker lines and all the uh, RJ45s to the little uh, controllers on the wall and all the individual rooms and then I've got a bunch of uh, uh, preamp lines and then like in all the bedrooms I've got uh, a jack that's got like uh, two RCA connectors so if somebody's in one of those rooms they could plug some kind of an audio source into RCA connectors and send them directly to the whole house audio so that's eventually got a 12 volt trigger line actually goes up for the projector continues back over to a connector on this panel so send the 12 volt trigger to turn on the projector and also to turn on the exhaust fan up there so the 12 volts will turn all of that on I just need to put a contactor there 12 volt contactor to turn on the power for that so so that's pretty much what I've got going and what I've got done on this trip in the control room that was actually quite a bit of work to do all of that so I had to you know trim all that out and make it work and mount that panel in there get everything hooked up I've even got the floor lights. There's connectors on that. It's actually right now the floor lights being controlled with that thing. I'm gonna try to get something that can maybe work. Actually, actually that works with the phone. But I want to get. Oh, and I also got the uh, Harmony remote. It's not really all set up yet because it's it's laying down there, and then the emitters are just stuck there along with another cheap piece of junk that's. Uh, got the sensor in the room but it, that thing didn't work worth anything so uh, eventually the harmony will probably be in here and I'm thinking if I have those emitters just 
in there and then some kind of a mirror mounted on the door facing over here or on the door or whatever to reflect it back hopefully that will work and then that way it can all be in there and then of course the other thing that I've got going on now is the center speaker is up and playing now got this uh, 14 channel Emotiva it's uh, using six of the channels four of them are driving the uh, the mid bass drivers I don't know if you can see the center speaker yeah there it is yeah uh, so four of these channels are driving mid bass drivers and two are driving the AMT tweeters and of course there's the mini DSP uh, flex uh, balanced so so the center speaker is playing haven't done anything with any of this yet I'm still planning to build some kind of a chassis that will mount this board in the flex and then right now the center speaker is just the line from 100 hertz up but I've got two unused outputs on this flex and I've got an unused input on the left and right flex so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send 100 hertz and below from the center channel over to the uh, these 15 inch uh, woofers uh, dipole woofers so basically the center channel will be working as a true center channel from 100 hertz up and it'll be working uh, like in phantom mode for 100 hertz down so so the dipole woofers will be part of the center speaker basically so anyway uh, that's pretty much it for this update uh, not much changed in the way of anything up here in the seating so so that's it I've got to finish packing and get ready to go to the airport oh and then one last thing I'm going to I think what I'm gonna do on this I thought thought about walling it over completely and I thought about uh, duplicating it over there and making the base trap out of it by putting fiberglass in there but I think what I'm gonna do is rip out the uh, the trim on this side sheetrock over it paint over it and then on the other side put shelves in you could put you know have a place to keep some DVDs or kind of, you know frequently used DVDs or something so so from the other side it's already basically trimmed out so once it's sheetrocked in on the theater side, you know, if that's probably what, six or seven inches deep, so plenty deep enough to have a fair amount of storage for something there. So, oh, and then I made this platform to put the rack on and it's got just a little bit of a lip on it so it won't roll off. Had a little bit of a disaster at my brother's house in North Carolina. He's He didn't have any kind of a lip on the front edge and it rolled off and kind of stopped some equipment out of it. and made a mess that we had to clean up or he had to clean up mainly because he knew how to wire I had everything wired so anyway so hopefully my little lip on there will prevent that okay so that's it that's uh, pretty much the update for now I'll be coming back on October the 14th definite schedule because I've got a dentist appointment on Monday the 16th so so they can't push me back on that one and uh, so I'll be back then I'll be here at least a few days and get some more done Probably will be working on getting the network stuff, get that hole all trimmed out, get that rack mounted, get the, uh, you know, the router and the modem and the network switch. And also I've got the NOS downstairs, try to get all that on that rack, start getting that all set up. And then uh, later, I've still got to schedule a foot surgery uh, later this year, probably November, and probably have three or four weeks off. And that's when I'll get that all done and some more done in the theater. That's it for now. Well, not quite it for now. Uh, I forgot. Uh, I'm going to be putting in four more of the 18 inch uh, Ultimaxes. One of them was a, going to be a replacement for a defective one that I sent back, and of course, UPS delivered it to the wrong address. But the three new ones are here, and uh, I guess UPS is, if they can't find that one, then they're going to send out another one. So, so I'll have four more 18s put two on each side somewhere toward the back of the theater to help the base be more uniform and it'll be the same type thing in the attic where I did the uh, magnet to magnet you know back to back mounting to cancel the mechanical energy so be basically just uh, another pair on each side of the room in the back so that'll have me up to a total of 12 of these 18s in there 